Hello guys. Welcome back to the session. This is the sixth video in this series, and here, we are going to create the release pipeline. In this session, first we will be creating the container registry. Then we will build and push our container image to the container registry. And finally we will create our container instance and deploy our Docker image from container registry to it. In Azure, by default, they won't allow the release pipelines to create container registry and container instance. We have to explicitly include them to the resource providers list. Let's do it. Open Azure portal and direct to all services and open subscriptions. Choose the right subscription. Under the subscription select the resource providers. Now search for Microsoft.Container Registry and Container Instance. I have already registered them in my Azure account, that is the reason why I can see them as registered. If it is not registered, we can select one by one and click the register button on the top. See, when I click the container service, the register icon is enabled. Anyway, container service is not required for us now. Also, it may take a couple of minutes to get it registered. Now move to the release pipeline. Here, we don't want to use any existing templates. Let's pick the empty job. Let me name this stage as dev. Similarly, we can have multiple stages configured in release pipeline. For example, we can create pre-prod, prod, etc. Once we create one build, we can release that build to any stage. Also, certain rules can be set like, move the build to prod, only when we release it to pre-prod. Now we can choose artifacts. This states that, from where we are getting the artifacts. We can choose it from, build. In the source dropdown, we can select our build pipeline name. This will automatically, set the default version and the source alias. Let's click the add button. Now we can enable our continuous deployment trigger. So, whenever there is a build completed, release will automatically get triggered. Next we can set our pipeline variables. For the ARM template deployment, we require resource group name and in location. Instead of writing in each task, we can define it here as a variable, and we can use this variable in the tasks. First let's add resource group name and then resource group location. Location, let's give it East US. So, all our resources, which are using this variable will create at the same location. Let's give our resource group name as ACI test. A CI stands for Azure Container Instance. If the resource group already exists, this ARM template will create the new resources inside that resource group. Else, it will create a resource group with that name. As, we didn't create any resource group in Azure, this will automatically create the resource group for us. Second time onwards, it will just do the incremental changes. However, increasing the CPU and memory won't work with the ARM template incremental changes. For that, we have to drop the existing container instance and run this job to create a new resource. Let's save it, so that, we don't lose our changes. Before moving further, let's change our agent to Ubuntu. This is because, we are building the docker for node Ubuntu version. Next, we will start adding our agent jobs. First we will deploy our Azure container registry to Azure using ARM template. For that, we can add the Azure template deployment task. Display name we can change to something which we can understand by seeing the name itself. So we can give the name, ARM template deployment ACR. Next we need to set our Azure resource manager connection. For that, click on the manage link and that will redirect you to the service connection page, where you can add external services to the Azure DevOps. Select the Azure resource manager option, and then choose the service principle. Next, we can select subscription level and choose our subscription, where it will prompt you to enter your Azure credentials. Then save the connection name, let's say, pay as you go. Now back to our release pipeline tab. Here we can see the newly added subscription appearing here. 
While selecting it, we may have to provide the Azure credentials once more. Now you can choose the subscription also in the next drop-down list. Action, you can keep the same create or update resource group. For the resource group, we have already given the variable. So we can use that one. For the location also, we should use the variable which we have already created. Using these variables, we will get the flexibility to change the location and resource group at any time. Next step is to choose our ARM template file. Click on the three dots, which will show our artifacts folder, where we have already kept our ARM templates and Node.js codes. Choose the container registry.azrm.json file. We don't have any template parameters and override template parameters for ACR creation. Deployment mode, we can keep the same, incremental. Give a deployment name, get resource names underscore release dot release name. Deployment output is very important here. Let's name it deployment output. The reason for adding the deployment output value is, we require to get the newly created ACR name, server name, username and password. You must be remembering that, while we created the ACR ARM template, we have mentioned one output section, where we mentioned these name, server name, username and password. We require those values, while we create, and push the Docker image to ACR. Also, we require the server name when we create the ACI. If we were using the Windows agent pool, next step would have been a really simple step. Because we are using Ubuntu, we cannot use Azure Resource Manager Deployment Output Parser task. Azure Resource Manager Deployment Output Parser task will only work on Windows agent. So after a lot of trial and error, I figured it out, we can read the ARM template output variable into a pipeline variable. Using the PowerShell script, we will be able to achieve the same action. Also make sure that the PowerShell script version should be 2.star. Else the script won't run on Ubuntu. Let's name the task to read output. Make it to inline script. Again it was really a tough job for me to find out how the script can set the output values into a pipeline variables. If we are using Windows agent it is easy to set the values into a pipeline variable. I have given those scripts below in the description, so that you can just copy paste and add your variables there. Here you can see, I have assigned the output variable to a local variable $var. Now $var.registry underscore name dot value will get the registry name which we mentioned in our ACR ARM template. Similarly we can get server name, username and password. To check the values, we can use echo command and that will print the values while we execute our job. Next major step is to keep those variables into a pipeline variable. Now you can just blindly follow the code. One important thing is, you have to specify the variable name in capital letter, else it won't work in Ubuntu. It took me almost a day to get this output variable and set it in a pipeline variable. Let's put the script in the script section. Now we are all set to read those registry details in any other following tasks. Our next step is to build our Docker image. So let's search for the task, Docker. Add it to the agent job. Name it to build an image. Change the task version to 0.star. Container registry type, no need to change, keep it as Azure Container Registry. 
Choose your Azure subscription which we added few minutes back. Next we can fill the container registry. Instead of writing just container registry name mention it with the following text. We just want to update the subscription ID just after subscription slash. I have mentioned this script below in the description. Action, keep it build an image. Next is to choose the docker file. Click on the three dots and choose the exact docker file from the build repository. This time it is inside the source folder. Star star slash docker file also would have worked, but in case, if we have two docker files present in different folders there will be issues. So it is preferable to choose the right docker file manually. This will create the image with the following name. Next step we will push the image to the ACR. For that we need to add one more docker task. We can change the display name to push an image. Subscription, we can keep the same Azure one. Copy the same text for Azure Container Registry. Action, we can change to push an image. Image name, we can keep as it is. If you have changed earlier the image name, you can put that image name here. And finally we can add our step to create our ACI. For that choose ARM template deployment. Change the name to ARM template deployment ACI. Azure Resource Manager connection we can choose the same Azure connection. Subscription also, the same Azure connection. Action, Creator Update Resource Group. Resource Group and Location, we can use the pipeline variable. For template, choose the three dots and select the container instance.azmr.json. Next is template parameters. Click on the three dots and select the param.container instance.azmr.json. Finally we can choose the override template parameters. If we didn't give any value, here it will take all the default values from our params file. Let give few override values which are ACR details which we created in the first step of our release pipeline. I will mention this details in the description. This details contains the container registry server name, username, password and the registry server name. Also as a parameter, I have mentioned one environment name, which will add as an environment variable to the docker container. Let's save the release pipeline. Now it's time for action. We can try to run the build pipeline and see if the container registry and container instances are creating in the Azure or not. Build pipeline runs and all the steps are success. We can see one artifact is created. As expected all the files are included in the artifacts folder. And yes, we can see, the release pipeline is already triggered. Let's see what is going on. It will take some time, because it is creating the resources one by one. As defined, it will first create the Azure Container Registry. Then build the Docker image and push that image to the Container Registry. Finally we can see the Container Instance task also running.
Let's see the Azure instances of ACR and ACI are created. Yes, both are created. First, we can check the container registry. We can see one Docker image is already created here. Each build will create the new tags of images inside the container instance. But if we run only the release pipeline multiple times, or releases it to multiple stages, it won't create new tags. This is because we are using the same source code while multiple release. Next, let's have a look at the container instance. Yes, it's running already. Check the properties, we can see it is using one core with 4 GB memory. Also the environment variable, which we have added. Even, we can see the logs, which we are writing to the console. Let's access the URL and see if we can access it from outside. Now we can delete the resources. Else it will charge you more. Delete the resource group, so all the components inside will be deleted automatically. Okay guys. That's the end of this series. Thanks for watching. More exciting topics are on the way. Stay tuned.